So, important thing we want to understand. M behavior, we only care about the degree. So if I'm looking at this function, I know that's going to be x. x plus 3 expanded is going to give me what as my leading term? x raised to the third power. I don't know what the rest of it is, but guess what? I really don't need to. x minus 2 squared is going to give me x, the leading term as x raised to the second. And if I was to multiply all of these out, again, think about what's the largest power, right? If you were to expand these, if you wanted to, if you were going to expand them, would you get a, what is like the largest power that would you get? Would you get x to like the 21st power? No, the largest product you would get is the product of these first two terms. So, or let's look at these two first. The product of these two terms, if you were going to do like the box method, if you were going to, still the largest power would be x squared times x cubed, right? Because everything else is descending. Correct? So the largest power times the largest power gives you x to the fifth. So it's x times x to the fifth, dot, 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 dot. Therefore, the largest power of x times x to the fifth is x to the sixth. Again, that's a positive coefficient. You have it to an even power. So I think, oh, positive, even, that's just like a quadratic. I'm going to write this in limits. So limit as x approaches negative infinity means going left. And limit as x approaches pause infinity is the same thing as saying going right. And now I just need to remember, so what is happening when the graph goes to the left and to the right? This is a mathematical way. Again, we'll talk more about the limits. But limits is basically as x approaches negative infinity. That means as x is going to the left. Where's the function going? Look at up the graph that's going up, right? Which mathematically we'd want to use. Because it's going up, but it's going up to where? Infinity. So as x goes to the left, since this is even, it's just like x squared, it's going to infinity. As x approaches infinity, which is going to the right, it's also going up. So that would be your end behavior in limit notation. Sorry. Yes? It's um, you're actually going to be asked to use both. All right.